too dizzy or bringing out his own music. Have you ever seen that before, Rock? I don't think I have. I don't know what to think of this guy. I think he uh, he may be outclassed with Eric Cross tonight. Eric Cross has been in the Eric's been in the business, the professional wrestling business, for 13 years. I think Drew Diz only three years or so. Uh, Drew Diz is a relative uh, newcomer here to the professional wrestling business. Uh, but Drew Diz is an incredible athlete. We've seen him here numerous times oh, here in the Empire. Absolutely, absolutely. And he impresses every single time. Shake his hand, come on. Tremendous What's wrong with energy. You? And I know what, what kind of man Drew Diz is. If he felt that Eric Ross was a fair and earnest competitor, he would undoubtedly shake his hand. But he knows better. And Eric Cross had a pretty successful run here in our Inland Title Tournament recently. And it's looked great here in action here in the Empire. And the villainous acts here. Do you hear the uh, chant they're saying? Cross. For Drew Diz, they're saying, what a pansy? That's not, I think that's pretty outrageous. I don't think they were talking to Drew Diz there, Rock. of Arena more than willing to sing Eric Rossi out to the back here in defeat. Do you know when and where Eric Cross started as a professional wrestler? Where he had his first match ever? I don't know that. It was October the 11th, 2005. Bell Gardens, California. He's been all over the world and look at this. He's ended up back in California. Right here. 13 back. years later. Right here back and the best professional wrestling you'll see today right here in the Empire Wrestling Federation. And That's Eric absolutely Cross here correct. with that top wrist lock applied in, taking down Judas down to one knee. What is Judas this? Trying to use momentum here. Almost use almost like rhythmic, rhythmic dancing there to kind of get out of it. Very uh, innovative and unique there. So he puts a top wrist lock of his own in there. Cross down to both knees here. And that wrist keeps getting bent. This matchup might be over. And Cross here wisely getting to that middle rope, breaking the hold. And Rocket, is Cross playing mind games here? Or is he just not prepared here tonight? Oh, believe me, he's prepared. So there, therefore, I would say yes. Possibly, probably, mind games. But I don't want to sell Judiz short. Either Judiz or Judiz isn't. No. Or you don't. Oh my God! Beautiful takedown from Judiz. And making a mockery of Eric Ross. Wow. A little cabbage patch to boot. Cross on the crowd, you can do that too. I don't know about that. This is the first time we've seen Judas for almost a year. I think it was back November of 2016. I, I he was injured. Right. Scorpio Sky injured oh. the man. But he is, oh my oh, gosh. Russian leg sweep. He's come back with a vengeance. And Jude is, and boy has he come back here to the Empire with a vengeance, and oh, dropping that knee into the face. Oh. And we'll rip a little dance there, and a leg drop there. Jude is has gone down, oh, only at our one count. And it, it, it appears to me, Rock, that Eric Ross completely unprepared here. From this onslaught here from Jude is. Well, I may be wrong. I mean, it would be the first time ever, but I may be. Maybe oh, he's not prepared. His knife edge shots. He's taking two oh. now, and now the mat goes cross. Maybe for his own mercy there, he was just trying to get out of the line of fire there from those huge knife edge chops. 
Right hand there from Judez into the turnbuckle goes Cross. And oh, good reversal there from Eric Cross looking for the hip toss. Judez had a well scouted. Both men exchanging here. Blocks and Judez. What is this? Oh, head scissor. Wow. And our crowd here roars in there the station at the EWL wow. Arena. And a very close near fall there. And here comes Judez getting crossed back up. Big right forearm. And cross there. Ooh. Big kick there. Oh, drops him right on that knee. Oh, oh my gosh. Drop kick to the face. That was a very hard kick to the you face. Hear the that could screams in pain there from two Diz. And Cross almost incredulous that he didn't get the three there. I've heard a lot of people say that Jude Diz has, is pretty hard headed, and I would say if that's the case, then it helped right there. Oh, he's sort of not. you know he's sort of old school, like 1980s. That's a little bit of, of what Jude Diz brings back, brings to the ring. Absolutely. He has a unique vibe all to himself there. And yeah. Cross into the ropes. Oh. And Cross, more concerned of our audience here than his opponent at this point. Building up all that momentum just to hit a stomp. Meaning just smirks here from the majority of the crowd here at the EWF Arena. Here's Cross here. Oh, working that top of the head there. And applying that reverse chin hold. And Jude is here. Trying to get this crowd here at the UWF Arena rally behind him. Well, I think they are. They absolutely are. Big shots here from Jude is in the corner. Oh, no. Cross again. He's been hitting those reversals, Ooh. Rob. But he caught an elbow for his troubles. And now a big kick, oh my goodness. And Jude is with a head of steam. Oh! oh, took his head off. If he would cover right now, Eric he's Cross won the match. just took the air out of the building rock. Yeah, but he had a kick to the face first, so he's still hurting. One, two, three, baby, that's it. Oh! And somehow, some way, the last second, Jude is on instinct there, I guess. Got that shoulder up. He still look. seems very much out of it. And oh, look at Eric Cross here. Look at the nastiness. Eric Cross clearly frustrated with how this matchup began. Now taking out all of his frustration here on Jude is. We had this crowd pumped up. This crowd here starting to rally behind him once again. Cross, really frustrated with our audience here tonight, Rock. Really frustrated. And here comes Jude is with big right hands. Cross following up with big knee lift there. And forearm strike across the back. And slowly, both in. Oh! Chin breaker there. From Jude is. Oh! Look at the big kick. Oh, oh beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, Into beautiful. The ropes, Jude is. Oh, my God. Gosh! A running kick, oh! And a flapjack. Cover him, Kevin. and that's it. That's a one, two, three, right that's there. It. I promise you. One, two, three. Oh! And these two competitors rock. We're only in match one here on our big card here on October 13th. And we're already getting main event caliber action. Ooh. Oh, Jumping forearm there. And Jude is wow. cross eating the knee there. Oh my gosh, in the beautiful. And that's gonna do it, face. folks. One, two, and oh! Two and a half. Whew. I thought for sure Jude is had him there. Variation. There of the flatliner. Back up to his feet is cross. 
Judas greets him there. A big right forearm and another. And he's crossing the ropes. Oh, remember that kick with Judas. Oh, my God. Suplex. Oh. Hold it up like an accordion. Oh. And Judas. He may be seriously hurt. That did not look, look good, he's not, not at all. Referee's talking to him, are you hurt? Are you hurt? He's not reacting. Oh! Well, only a two. It was on the back of the head. Back of the head, the neck. It was nasty. And Rock, I can only think, if you noticed, uh, I think Eric Cross thought the matchup was over. He didn't put all of his body weight on that pinfall attack. I think that might have cost him. And oh, what an elbow! I don't even know if Drew, knew, Drew Diz knew what he was swimming two. at, but he... Uh, I am just so surprised Cross is still with us right now. And Jude is looking for something high risk here. Jude very, is. very risky, very risky. And that's why we call it high risk, Rock, right there. And uh -oh, Eric Cross is uh -oh, coming in that watch, position watch, for that cross out. Oh my God, cross out! Unbelievable! That's gonna Goodbye. do it! Goodbye! One, two, three. And it is all over!